Question number 8 says that from a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 cm and diameter is 1.4 cm, a conical cavity of the same height and same diameter is hollowed out. That is, the conical cavity which is hollowed out has got the same height and the same diameter as of the solid cylinder. Now, we have to find the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square. Now, we can create the figure as per the given information in the question. And this is how the figure will look like. Now, as we have already discussed that the conical cavity of the same height and the diameter as of the solid cylinder will be scooped out or will be hollowed out, it's clear that the one of the bases of the cylinder, which is this part, will not be included into the total surface area of the solid, which is to be calculated. Therefore, the total surface area of the remaining solid after hollowing out will be equal to the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the base area that is we are just calculating one of the base area which is a circle plus area the curved surface area of cone. Now we will substitute the formulas. The curved surface area of a cylinder is calculated by making use of the formula 2 pi r h plus base area. Base is a circle and a circle's area is found out by making use of the formula pi r square plus the curved surface area of a cone which is found by making use of the formula pi r l. Now l represents the slant height which is not given in the question and which is we have to find. Now this is 90 degrees and the radius for the conical part will be half the diameter which is 1.4 centimeters divided by 2 and that will be 0 0.7 centimeters and the total height of the cone will be equal to the total height of the cylinder which is 2.4 centimeters. Now L being the slant height we can apply here Pythagoras theorem and write that L equals under root h square plus r square. Now let's substitute the values. We substitute 0 0.7 the whole square plus 2.4 the whole square. That gives us under root 0 0.49 plus 2.4 the whole square which gives us 5.76. That will give us under root 6.25. So basically the slant height L equals 2.5 centimeters. Now we can substitute all the values back into the formula that we have got to calculate the total surface area of the remaining solid. So before we do that we can take out some of the common terms. So taking out common terms pi r we are left with 2h plus r plus l. Now let's substitute the values 22 by 7 times the radius which we know is half the diameter 1.4 centimeters which we get as 0 0.7 centimeters. We substitute 0 0.7 2 times 2.4 plus radius 0 0.7 plus the slant height which we have just calculated as 2.5 centimeters. Now 7 and 0 0.7 gets cancelled with 0 0.1. So 22 when multiplied with 0 0.1 gives us 2.2. And doing the simplification inside the brackets we get the answer as 8. So 2.2 times 8 gives us the final answer as 17.6 cm square. And this is the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.